the issues that Hitler used to subvert everything within the German system of government. This is a criminal regime. They not only emulate Hitler, but its genesis comes from Hitler. And I defy anyone, a historian, journalist, author, anyone, to come forward and disprove my premise that you cannot differentiate Hitler's invasion of Poland in 1939 and the Reichstag fire and his attempt to dominate the world from George W. Bush's unprovoked invasion of Iraq and subversion of the Constitution through the Patriot Act after 9-1-1, which I submit is his right Reichstag fire. Karl Rove and his minions are every bit the masters of propaganda that Joseph Goebbels was. They literally took lessons from Goebbels and Goring about how to create such brilliant propaganda that unreality can become reality and reality can be subverted to fantasy political subterfuge right before your eyes. So there's just an endless broken record that is leading up to the present era, that the Bush family has had a single goal for a hundred years, which is to become the most powerful family on the planet and to rule the world. It's critical that every citizen of this country rise up and do something because the day of reckoning is at hand and uh, these people are Nazis, they are practicing Nazi philosophy, they are mimicking Nazi tactics, and time is running out. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash, you're gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosylcobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Welcome back to the InfoWars Nightly News. You know, it's, it's really no secret that the establishment would much prefer Jeb Bush over Donald Trump in the White House. So what kind of dirty tricks are they willing to play to steal the election? Here's Rob Dew. Thanks, Darren. You may remember last week I did an interview with Richard Reeves for the InfoWars Nightly News. It was a two-part interview talking about how to become a delegate for one and why being a delegate is so important, especially in this, uh, this year's election, because it looks like they're trying to kind of worm and wedge Jeb Bush into the nomination, even though he's pulling it like a paltry 3%. And we talked about how they were going to do that. One way was the splitter strategy. You get a bunch of candidates, and so it kind of dilutes the vote everywhere, and then that would lead to a brokered convention. But I want to go to this first clip. just talks about just a few of the dirty tricks that the Democrats that have infiltrated the GOP and those rhinos that are in the GOP are planning on doing to ensure a uh, Jeb Bush victory. Well, Rob, thank you for having me on. And the Democrats via the New World Order definitely have a plan on how they're going to try to steal this election. They've adjusted primary dates. They've adjusted the way the delegates 
are proportioned. In some states, winner take all. In some states, they're uh, proportional. So we're really going to be having to watch for the dirty tricks by the GOP and the RNC. So we are really going to have to be on our toes. And we saw this on the last two primary seasons with Ron Paul just basically getting Iowa stolen from him. Uh, I, like it was Rick Santorum in the last election where he suddenly came up with this uh, fairy dust money to just blitz the area and, and kind of steal that. that not, and then he disappeared. He That's was just right. a ringer. He was thrown in there to take away the momentum from Ron Paul so then no one could uh, give him legitimacy. So that was back in 2008 and 2012. The delegates for Ron Paul, the people that really wanted Ron Paul in, were trying to create a brokered convention to thereby, you know, put Ron Paul in. And now the Republicans have learned from that. And now they're going to try that same thing with this time with Jeb Bush, a candidate that nobody likes. He's got 3% in the polls. And they're doing that by getting as many candidates into the nomination process as possible, which is called the splitter strategy. And here's Richard to explain more. The, uh, Republicans are dead set on making sure that Donald Trump does not get this nomination. And by that, I mean the Republican establishment, along with the Democrats that have infiltrated the party. Uh, it's going to be really tricky to do this. And what it was ultimately with this, what's called the splitter strategy, mm -hmm. is we had the Republicans gather up at some point in the past, and they had a huddle, and they decided, you know what, Jeb Bush is going to be our nominee for 2016. How do we get that done? So what they looked at is the splitter strategy. We all know that one of the mottos of the new, new World Order is divide and conquer. Right. So what they did is they came up with all these candidates. That's why you have Jeb Bush. That's why you have Marco Rubio. That's why you have Santorum and Kasich. And, and Kasich is basically a hitman. He's right. just brought in to just hit Trump constantly. No substance to his attacks. He's basically worthless in the polls. I mean, he's polling at like 1% maybe. That's and right. That's so, his only job. But he's still in it. So for the GOP, he sits there and he's got plenty of money. He's, yeah. he's well-funded. But he can sit there and hit the barbed wire for the GOP and keep attacking Trump like a, a chihuahua. That's a great analogy. Yeah, he, heels, he's a know? World War One so, barbed wire guy. He just the, jumps on it and lets everybody else run over top of him. There you go. So that's it. So they came up with the splitter strategy, but their splitter strategy didn't take into account Donald Trump. That's true. And that's the thing. Yeah, it didn't take into account a guy with his own war chest who doesn't need financing. He doesn't need to uh, pay back favors. And he's admitted he's used that in the past to to get favors. So uh, I'm looking at this article, how all the candidates fit into the overall GOP roadmap. The big picture this is from the last refuge. And they say, how did all the candidates fit in? Jeb Bush is the easiest to outline for the entire reason of the 11 of the 18 candidates to exist. Jeb Bush is the consummate Republican establishment candidate. He has the approvals of Wall Street, the COC, K Street, the professional Republican Party construct. Everyone inside the GOP machine is full in support of Jeb. Now, I got an email a couple days ago, and let's bring up our guest. This is Grant Trevette. He's a student up in North Carolina, and he's going to tell us his story that totally just validates everything that we talked about in that report that I did with Richard Greaves last week. Grant, how are you doing today? Pretty good, Rob. All right. How are you doing? I'm doing great. So, and I was really, uh, I really just, I'm happy that you wrote, reached out to me because this is how we are able to analyze what's out there in the news and see then real life instances of where it happened. Tell us about the event you were at and just break down how everything went. Go ahead. You got the floor. All right. Well, thanks for having me, first of all, but I did get chills listening to that report because uh, in early October, my wife and I relocated to um, Central North Carolina. We went to a young professional, uh, young graduate networking event, and we were, we were there. It was toward the end of the day. Um, you know, they give you free dinner and, you know, drink tickets. So we, we decided to take advantage of that. As we're sitting there, young guy comes up, clean cut. Um, you know, he's, he's having a beer, sits down at our table, and he just starts pitching Jeb Bush to us. And, uh, you know, we're, we're Rand Paul supporters, and uh, we, we were very much on, uh, on board with him at the time. You know, and we, we mentioned his name, and, and the guy just, he gave us a look, you know, a, a disgusted look. And uh, he starts going over all that, that Jeb Bush could do for us. And uh, I, I said, you know, there's, there's no way that, that we can do that. Uh, and he said, well, go ahead, go ahead and vote for whoever you want. Uh, he said, I'm a, I'm a GOP delegate. And, you know, this guy's in his mid-20s. So, you know, I, I didn't believe him. I, you know, I have an image of a delegate in my head uh, and have never met one until then. And sure enough... Uh, he starts pulling up his phone and starts showing me um, pictures of him with Karl Rove, pictures of him with uh, former Speaker Boehner, 
Uh, you know, I brought up at that time the vacate the chair movement was was gaining ground thanks to uh, you know Congressman Walter Jones and Infowars as well, and he he did not want to hear a single word of it. He said it would fail, uh, and he said his exact words were, "You cannot get rid of this sweetheart." Uh, so you know, there's the Dem connection, there's the Rhino connection, and just for him to say vote for whoever you want, uh, it it made me question him more, and I asked you know. I said, so, so who's, who's running you? He said, it doesn't matter. I've been told my votes as a delegate go to Jeb Bush. So he was told from above that his votes are going to go to Jeb Bush no matter what, what the people want. It doesn't matter. And that is the scary thing that the people in this delegate process are already bought off. They've already decided who they're going to vote for. They don't care about the debates. These debates are meaningless to these people. And what's going to happen, Grant, do you know about brokered conventions? Absolutely. I've been uh, since since then for for about the past uh, forty eight hours. I've been I've been digging as much as I can, yeah. and uh, I I can see that. And especially uh, you know with the proportion, uh, they can keep Jeb in there until it's time to strike. Yeah, exactly. All they need is to not give a majority to anyone in the first vote count, which they'll have at the the Republican National Convention. So say Trump, if he stays in the lead. Everybody thinks he's going to get it. He's a shoe in, but they go, oh, he only got 49%. We got to do another vote. And then he gets 45%. And then he gets 40%. And then all of a sudden you see Jeb, all the people pulling for Jeb rising up in these votes. And all of a sudden Jeb's got 51% because they've made some weird backroom deal. And that's how they'll steal it. And I'll bring you to this real clear politics um, article came out this morning, December 16th. Rents Priebus, who's the head of the RNC, a broker convention is possible if a candidate does, doesn't get to a majority of de delegates, by the time you get to the convention, then you must have a contested convention. And he's probably, at least in my opinion, probably in on this Jeb Bush thing because you're going to have to have this, this to get Jeb Bush forced down the American public, you're going to have to carry the ball. So we got about a minute left. Just repeat that story and, and the look in this guy's eyes, how there is no way he's going to vote for anybody else but Jeb Bush. That was it. Uh, just from the very beginning, he detested Trump and Carson right off the bat. Some people at our table were saying, you know, I support Trump. Well, I support Carson. You know, they were doing very well in early October. Um, he said no chance for them. Uh, and again, he hated Rand Paul and especially uh, Ted Cruz. Uh, and then he just assured us, and the more, um, the more beers he drank, uh, you know, the more truth serum uh, got in him, the more he was bragging. And he, he would just look, he would look through you and say, just go vote for whoever you want. Uh, you know, it's, it's not going to matter. Grant, the delegate that you're mentioning right there, that is, he's leaving himself open to blackmail, totally disreputable. It, it's shameful that we have people like that out there, but that's why more people need to get involved in the process. I commend you for getting in touch with me. Please get involved in your area. Anybody else watching this needs to get involved because if we don't have our iPhones out there, our smartphones taking video, taking photos, getting audio recordings of these people doing this. The system is never going to change, and we're never going to end up with the candidate that the American people truly want and truly deserve. So thanks for getting involved. And now back to Darren McBreen in the main studio. So the fix is in. Election Fraud USA continues. Hey, we're out of time. See you back here tomorrow night. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. 
and it just synergistically puts everything in there. The InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.